you can uh, put it here. Yeah, good. Asta merge. So, um, dear colleagues and, uh, and friends, um, distinguished guests, guests I'm, I'm pleased to, um, to have you at this special uh, moment, which is dedicated to the anniversary of um, 20 years since the NATO summit in Prague. Thank you all for joining us uh, today. Um, 20 years ago, on the uh, 21st of November 2002, at the NATO summit in Prague, seven countries, um, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, and Slovenia, were invited to join the alliance. Following uh, on that, uh, two years later in 2004, in March, our seven countries joined NATO. And I think no one can express the spirit of that moment uh, better than President Václav Havel. I quote the alliance's decision to open itself once again to the new European democracies signifies that the unnatural division of Europe has come to an end in real terms. End of quote. So indeed, the Prague round of enlargement was uh, decisively led to healing the divides of uh, the Cold War, at the same time reinforcing the bonds of friendship and cooperation in Central and, and Eastern Europe. So the Prague decisions proved that our countries were ready to uh, return to the democratic family of values uh, they have already rightfully belonged to, firmly committed to defend those values, and our shared area of security as part of uh, NATO. For Romania, it was the culmination of years of uh, efforts and the fulfillment of an aspiration shared by the entire Romanian society. And I uh, am sure that it felt the same for the other uh, countries that joined at the same uh, time. So uh, the past 20 years have shown, um, beyond any doubt, that the decision taken in Prague has made NATO stronger and has rightfully expanded the Euro-Atlantic community of values and security. Um, we should remember that the alliance's eastern flank, as we see it today, was decisively shaped by, by that very round of enlargement. So the eastern flank is today NATO's main line of uh, defense against the threat posed by the Russian Federation's cruel and unjust war of aggression against Ukraine. And the Prague summit is the reason why we can meet today in Bucharest as the strongest and most successful defensive alliance in history. And also the reason why we can believe that democratic values will always prevail. The 2004 enlargement and the subsequent ones reconfirmed the viability of the open doors policy. And against this background, uh, I'm honored to have Finland and Sweden with us today in Bucharest for the first time at the NATO ministerial. And we look forward to welcoming these two countries as alliance's newest uh, members. So I'm very proud that Romania has achieved as NATO member in the past 20 years a lot of important uh, uh, things. The contribution we made, were, we were able to make the defense of our common values, uh, freedom and security, and uh, setting us on the path of uh, progress. So the journey from Prague 2002 uh, to Bucharest 2022 has been a long but successful one. And I thank uh, uh, you all again. Uh, I thank you all again for being here to celebrate it by uh, signing on a symbolic philatelic board and by sharing our thoughts and uh, gratitude. And I would like to thank Rome Philatelia and its uh, Director General with us here today uh, for the help provided. So I would like now to invite my colleague Jan Lipavsky to say a few words, and then all the other colleagues, if they wish to uh, say a few words. Please, Jan.